In this video, we'll be painting a marble panel. The first step is to draw this on watercolor paper. You will find a line drawing for your reference in Blackboard. We will go from this to this. The colors we'll be using for this project are lamp black, Prussian blue, deep green, sap green, pale green, lemon yellow, and white. We'll start with these four colors, deep green, pale green, Prussian blue, and then we'll mix some sap green with some white. You'll notice that I taped down this project to the surface. I'm trying to minimize as much wrinkling as possible. After you mixed up these four colors, clean your brush and apply some water to the surface. Using a medium sized brush, I'll lay in some diagonal patterns with the deep green, the pale green, and then the lighter green. Now I'll switch to a smaller brush and add some of the Prussian blue, trying to create some veining. I'll do the same with the other colors. Using a paper towel, I'll blot off some of the paint, softening the texture. Then I'll wait for this step to completely dry. Once the background texture has dry, I'll go back in with my small brush and I'll add more veining, being a little bolder in my approach. Here I'm adding veining with the Prussian blue and the deep green. Now I'm going to add a little more white to that lightest green. And I'll use this color and add some more lighter veins. I'll continue to use all the colors until I'm happy with the final texture. I'll also use some clean water, just to soften and blend out some areas. Now I'll create some washes of the deep green and the Prussian blue. I'll use a toothbrush and I'll flick some paint onto the surface with these two colors. I'll do the same with the highlight green that we created, but I won't water that down. Now I'll mix a low light using the Prussian blue and the deep green. I'll mix this up and I'll add just a little bit of water. Now I'll establish the light source coming from the top Right. Now I'll line all the areas that are away from the light source. So the molding at the top, the protruding molding around the panel, and the panel itself. Then I'll paint the baseboard at the bottom. When you're done, it should look like this. So double check the placement of all the low lights. Now I'll mix up a highlight. We'll start with white, some pale green, and some lemon yellow. I'll mix this up 
and add just a little bit of water. Now with the light source in mind, I'll paint in all the highlight areas. I'll do that protruding molding around the panel. Try your best to be consistent with the line widths. I'll also do the panel itself. the protruding molding on the bottom, and the molding on the top. Now I'll mix up a shadow wash using lamp black with some of that Prussian blue, and I'll add some water to make it translucent. Here I'm just testing the consistency of the shadow wash before I commit. Now I'll cast shadows under the low lights to give it depth. I'll start by casting shadows under the top molding. Then I'll move to the outside molding around the perimeter of the panel and then the baseboard. Now I'll add shadow to that raised panel in the middle much like we did with cut stones on the other project, making sure to add those 45 degree angle lines from the corners. I'll mix a tint wash by using white and the highlight color. Then I'll add some water just to make sure it's translucent. I'll paint in this tint wash around that raised panel. Again, this is very similar to the cut stone projects. Just make sure that you maintain that chisel edge. I'll also do the baseboard at the bottom and the molding on the top. Here I'm just going back in and reinforcing that one corner and making sure the top is just slightly brighter than the other side. I'll do the same with the shadow wash on the bottom corner. Again, just reinforcing its shape and making it a little bit darker than the other side. Here I'm just adding some of the tint wash to the highlight just to brighten it up a bit. And again, I'll go back in and reinforce that corner until I'm happy. Now I'll mix up some lamp black with some Prussian blue, just to black out the surround. Now as an optional step, I'll add some colored pencil. I'll use these colors to add some texture and a little bit more veining, but I'll do it really subtle. As a final step, I'll use a very small brush and I'll just reinforce some of the veining just to bring it forward. And that's it. You're done.